Ayan. Okay, welcome back to my YT channel. Okay. Uy, chararat ka ayo, guys. Hello. Maklaro ba, guys? Yes. Okay. So, I am here to discuss uh, the relationship between fructose and glucose. Okay. So, where's my ano, uh, visual chart? Okay. So, like that. So, okay. So, we need to discuss first the structural formula of uh, fructose. Okay. Fructose. Fructose is very good, right? You can name this also to your child. Uh, fructose, uh, Matt Anthony Fructose, oh, right? Okay, very good name, right? Fructose. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, you know, Fisher projection. Okay. So, can talk? Fisher projection is discovered by Mr. Emil Fisher in 1891. That's why this kind of structural formulation is being used by our chemists, scientists, biologists, and different types of science professionals. Okay, we have here uh, fructose is a hexosugar like that, and it is gonna be belong to the keto keto hexus sugar. Wow. Okay. So keto. So we need ketogenic. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So in my vlog, if you try to follow me every day, you will be mastering the different chemicals, formula, structuring, like that. And you can also have an idea the different substances that we are trying to intake in our body. The health, the bad health effect. This my vlog is all about uh, science, health, and music. Things like that. There are four areas. Okay. So fructose ketone, okay, we need to say about the second carbon, like this, okay? CH2OH, like that, CH2OH also here. Then, so all OH will be in the right side, right? And the partner of OH is H, H. H, okay, here, H. So as you can see, okay, the double one is the carbon number two. So if you try to compare the glucose and the fructose, the glucose will be burned first, okay, compared to fructose. You get the point? That's why if your fructose will stay in the liver, it will become bad. Okay, it, it cannot be filtered, detoxified compared to the glucose because the glucose can be used as our source of energy. It's abundance and all types of carbohydrates converted into sugar will be modified later to glucose as the last stage of sugar, you know, form. For example, galactose, maltose, ribulose, deoxyribose, so meaning to say they will be going to the glucose. Uh, that's why glucose is very popular. Igat kai siya, bigak, or sige siya kung sumi bisig asa lang. Okay, this glucose will go to the bloodstream, blah, 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 different types of different organs, and then used in our muscles and tissues to give us energy. That's why this will be used in our metabolism. Okay, it's always the glucose that will be burned first. Okay, to get the point. And then the excess glucose will stay in your liver. Okay? Because normally, your glucose will not go to the liver directly. It will go to the muscles and tissues to, to use as an energy and as our fuel to heat it up. Because metabolism cannot have the burning or broking down into different substances or waste products if there's no heat. That's why the 
this glucose will be our fuel well. So once it's become our fuel well, it will heat it up and then our source of energy. Get the point? Like that. Okay. So that's what we have metabolism. We are referring to fat metabolism. Okay, after that. You, get, you will never say sugar metabolism, but fat metabolism. You get the point? Things like that. And then the excess will store in your liver, and then it will go directly to the glycogen. It's the storage of our glucose inside our body. Okay, and the rest will store in our adipose tissues. Okay, and then our, you know, it will become a bile fat. It will store there. That's why your stomach will become big, blooming, just like a balloon. Okay, that's the reason because, okay, there's excess glucose that cannot be burned completely. Get the point? We cannot. But fructose, talking about biosynthesized fructose, okay, is bad. So we need to determine also the adjective, ha? Huh? Adjective and description. Description, okay, to learn the comparative study or comparative analysis regarding the specificities. Or the third, then, uh, you know, fructose, but you know, that's too general. It's wrong to say fructose is bad, but actually both are bad if it's in excess and too much. I will explain later. I need to go first for the chemical structuring. Okay? Come on. So this is our uh, defructus. Okay? And the mirror image for this, and the in sugar for this is the L fructus. You have to transfer only all the OH in the left side. Okay? Then we go now to the Howard projection. Well, projection. Okay? 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 Okay, so it's gonna be like that. Okay, so we need to have an idea. Okay, it's gonna be fructose. Fructose is a uh, different because you need to put a pentagon. Okay, pentagon, just like ribulose, ribose, cellulose, and silos, the pentose sugars. Uh, sugars that contains five atoms of carbons, like that. Okay, now we have here the Halworth oxygen at the top, and then the fructose OH will be the reverse of your glucose. Okay, they are really the, the reverse. Then, if the OH in glucose will be in carbon number three, let's say carbon number one, two, three, and then your OH will be going outside from the polygon, and H is inside. And then your OH also will go inside and H because the glucose OH is also going outside in the carbon number two. Okay, get the point. Come on. Now here in the carbon number four, so it's gonna be if you refer the O the glucose, the glucose, the OH is down, right? And then the fructose, the OH will be on the top, but it's it is not an OH, it's a CH2 and H. Okay, then the H will be down. Things like that, right? Okay, and then also the reverse here because the OH in your, you know, in glucose. So like this, ta -da -da, gone on. So it's gonna be the H, okay, and then CH2H here. Okay, like that. Okay, so Shotero, what's happening for your OH while it's lost? Like that, you will be say like that, okay? Actually, this is the the fructose, okay, like that, ganon, okay, OH here, okay, like that. So this is gonna be the alpha because it's the carbon number one, carbon number one, okay, alpha, okay, so let's say one, two, okay, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six carbon. How many hydrogen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that's a push up. C, 6, H, 12. Oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. C, 6, H, 12, O, 6. Oh, but this is the same formula where glucose. Because glucose and fructose are isomers. Okay. Oh, the bang up and back of the tag. 
Okay. Things like that. Okay. Maklaro ba? Yes, maklaro jud no. So ako ipatali guys, marikit. Okay, maklaro ako mga letters. Okay, ganan. O di ba? O klaro na. O o di ba? Yes. Wait. Okay, guys. It's gonna be like that. Okay. Ah, klaro ba? Okay. So this is alpha. Alpha D okay from to Furanus. Wow, really Furanus. This is why, ah, because Furanus is referring to the Pentagon, even though there's a six atoms of carbon. Okay, got the point. Then you say beta D from to Furanus. Then you have to put the O H upside, so it's to O H downside, and you never touch. The other attachments of your, you know, power projection structural formula or things like that. Okay, so then on. In glucose, it's another thing because in glucose you need to specify the alpha D glucopyranose. Pyranose is the polygon, six sides polygon na siya. Okay, so in glucose maunis siya ni tapo like this. Okay. Uh, then O H outside. Uh, all O H will be outside. Mga kalanga kumitad. Okay. Then O H except for carbon number three is in the O H is inside the polygon. H is outside. Then we have the C H two H here, and then the O here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbon hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's H here. Okay, oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, C six is your plus the same formula with fructose. This how works. Okay, like that. And then the fissure projection of glucose. Okay, two. So we need to say how many is glucose? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's carbon number three. The OH is in the left, and the other OH will be in the right. Things like that, and pair that with H. Okay, like that. This is gonna be mga talagang nitan. Ah, D. Okay, glucose. Then the sugar will be also L glucose. Okay. In the Howard projection, we will put furanos and pyranos, ha. But in the Fisher, you will never do the naming in that way. Okay. Now we we know exactly what's the chemical formula na of fructose and glucose. So we need to compare nala nala sha. Okay, so fructose versus glucose. So fructose is a is a fruit sugar. Okay, fruit sugar coming from the citrus fruits. Okay, and glucose coming from the carbohydrates. For example, starch like this. Rice, uh, bread, you know, uh, any kinds or any types of bread. Okay, you get the point. So there's a lot of stuff called glucose, right? You know that already. Okay, the defined part or the low carb is still producing glucose. Okay, so comparison. So, okay, management of glucose. So, fructose, okay, is also found in your high fructose. Corn syrup, HFCs. Okay, it's gonna be like that. So we have also the fructose directly from the fruits, and we have also fructose that is biosynthesized, meaning it will be produced inside our body. Now coming from the carbohydrate, uh, no substances, or any types of carbs. Let's say carbs. Okay, like that. Any types, right? Uh, you know, spaghetti, like that, carbonara, like that, or you know, any kinds of bread, rice, any colors. <laughs> White rice, yellow rice, brown rice, red rice, rice, name it. Okay, and then we have also the biosynthesized glucose. Okay. Biosynthesis. The glucose production inside our body is not the same with the glucose you intake outside sources. 
Okay, there's still another version through, you know, through synthesis biochemical reaction. Okay. Now, and we have also the refined glucose. Refined glucose. Okay. And then here also you have the refined fructose. And now let's explain. Because we said which is healthy, fructose or glucose. And we need to be clever enough. The specificity, the specifics, description, and adjective. Okay, when we choose between fructose and glucose, we, we don't need to be general. Okay, because both of them are bad and both of them also are good. Get the point? Good in the sense glucose possesses energy. Okay, and fructose also will be converted to glucose later to give us energy. Okay, takes that and be converted also to deoxyribose sugar in our DNA. Okay, in our genes. So both are well, tapon. They are both equally important. Okay, ganon. Okay, you know it's our mindset to tell, huh? Or our preference to tell. Okay, now. If I am concerned with my weight loss and the calories intake because I don't want so many calories to be burned, okay, so then you have to limit the glucose, okay? But if you are concerned with the healthy benefits such as like this, uh, you know, for your uh, metabolism in your liver, like that, so you need to Fructose. Metabolism is the fructose will move first in your liver. Okay. Okay. Liver. Okay. Sorry. It's go to your esophagus. <laughs> esophagus first. Okay. And then go into the you go to the uh, small intestine and then you go to the bloodstream and then transfer it into your liver. Sorry. Sorry. Ha. What I mean is it go first to your liver to store. Sorry. Okay, but during transport, it goes first in the uh, lower intestine, the duodenum, lower part of your intestine, and it will be transported to blood. And who will push this one? It's gonna be our uh, lipoproteins. The rule of lipoproteins are to push and to transport vitam minerals, vitamins, or any different substances. Mogri lang rule per me. That's why we don't have a good blood circulation if you have a high level of the bad cholesterol because it's there in your you know different epithelial cells of your bloodstream so there will be no proper flow circulation because their job is to transport just like a car okay get the point things like that okay so our car will transport us anywhere so that's just like a cholesterol that's the function of the cholesterol. For example, I need vitamin D. The cholesterol will transport vitamin D to your kidney, to your liver, to have a healthy bone, things like that, okay? But the problem is if your cholesterol is too high, it will be, uh, okay, it will be uh, stuck in your epithelial cells, the inner liner, lining of your blood vessels. And it will produce blood clot. And through that, says the function of your heart is to pump the blood that carries the oxygen, then it will also affect your artery of your heart, the left artery, and it will be hardened by the solid deposits of this cholesterol. Some of the cholesterol will go to your gallbladder as uh, gallstones or kidney stones, and some also will go to your heart as a solid deposits, and then it can cause atherosclerosis, okay, the, the heart coronary disease due to the inflammation and affecting the condition of your artery in your heart things like that okay get the point Ganon. so there are times also that the cholesterol cannot carry the too much glucose also he has also limitation that's why we don't put too much glucose in our system because the cholesterol cannot that cannot carry that anymore get the point so malakpot ang glucose basic asa na lang na ako no Okay, kung di na niya ma-carry, ba ito na ito ito sa so, mga siya pa doon. Ito the point. So, di na siya mag-flow properly to its designated road, just like a car also, when you go our destination. Alam mo, pataka ito pa doon, na wala gamit sa inyong itinerary 
during going to CP. And then you will keep on curving, 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 and you did not go directly to your purpose unless there's a traffic. Okay? You need to find another alternative road. But if there's no such like that, then you need to go directly to your destination. Straightforward. The cholesterol also is like that. Okay? Go directly to the the specific destination where this glucose needs. Okay? Things like that. You get the point? An anak siya, guys. Okay. Now, <laughs> nakaloka. You know, I found difficulty to discuss because this is not my major. I am only uh, you know, mastering the chemical reactions. Secondary is the functions, anatomy, physiology, and epidemiology because I'm not a medical professional. But I did it by research because anything can be learned through research and reading, okay? Then it will be uh, a company my knowledge as a licensed chemical engineer. So it can easily also discuss in this way. Okay, you get the point. So we have here the fructose here and the glucose here, okay? There is no issue of molecular weight because we have the same chemical formula. Meaning to say if the cholesterol will transport or the lipoproteins will transport, let's say we have glycoprotein, meaning glycogen and protein because glyco are composed of glucoses also. Okay? So there's no issue because of the same molecular weight. C6S12 O6. Okay? So, walang tapon. Okay? But the abundance matters a lot. Glucose are more abundant to fructose. Okay? Inside our body, ha? Okay. Now, let's compare fructose to glucose. So, both fructose and glucose are found in sucrose. Okay? Sucrose with an enzyme called sucrase will produce fructose and glucose. Okay. So according to my research, experimental evidence, it's gonna be 50% of fructose and 50% of glucose. Okay, both the same. Okay, you got the point. So where you choose fructose or glucose, this is the question that you need to answer. Now, if we are referring to refine. Adjective, so refined. Okay, refined or processed. Okay. Now compare fructose and glucose in terms of refined and processed. Okay, meaning it's outside. So which is better, fructose or glucose? Okay, it's gonna be fructose because it came from the fruit directly by default. It's inherent in the citrus fruits okay so fructose okay it's it's better you get the point so for example i'll i'll tell you this is the fruit for example the name of the fruit is apple charot okay so that is fresh fruit right fresh fruit so it's, it's okay we need to understand uh, slowly charot fresh fruit Okay, there's an automatic fructose. Okay, like that. You get the point. And glucose is not popular. Okay, in that though it also contains glucose, but the fructose are dominant. You get the point. So if we refer to let's say uh, natural, okay, natural or organic, okay, meaning not processed, not refined. So that is uh, your your criterion. Natural or organic. So we'll say fructose is better than glucose. Okay? Like that. Now if we mean of process and refine, okay, refine outside ha, process and outside, wala pa mo sa tutiyan. It's not it inside our system. So process and refine. So it's gonna be, okay, it's gonna be glucose is better the fructose okay you get the point the fructose why because fructose is in the usually appear in the ad additive sugar in the liquid drinks bottle juices like that uh, drink beverages and it is uh, fortified with 
HFCS, high fructose corn syrup. That is additive sugar. So this is processed fructose. Okay, now natural, not processed yet, direct fresh fruits or fresh eating, things like that. fructose is better than glucose, of course, because, okay, and you know also bacteria, bacteria and virus love sugar. More sila kaparat, guys, because all fit people in the planet Earth love sweet. But the problem also, Antigens, viruses, bacteria, all types of, you know, uh, unwanted microorganisms loves also sweet. They don't love sour because they will die. Okay, in an acidic environment. Lemon has a pH of 2.2. For the very first time, the virus will be killed. It will reach the respiratory system. Things like that. That's why in acidic environment, they will not survive that match this bacteria. I mean, you get the point? Anak siya. Okay, so ganang kisla mga tamis tamis. Okay, so that's why it will be driven always with diabetes, cardiovascular disease, coronary, obesity, like that, like that, heart attack. So that's the main causes of diseases. Uh, you know, dominant causes of diseases generally because we need to account the children, the child, the adult, and the youth. Because you know, if you try to take the alcohol, the cigarettes, not the child will not smoke at a very early age. Okay, they will starting only at 30, 20. That's why if you try to from one year old to adult, this is general tabulation of the diseases. That's why the most people will die really of sugar. Biblish substance is sugar. Okay like this because children also are not yet ad adapted to meat one year old two year. there's an issue of uh, swallowing and digesting because their teeth is not very strong compared to the adult so that's why they don't love also like that kind of food this in, uh, since our statistics is basically one year old to adult so mapildi put ang fats and then sugar can be eaten by any ages one year old to four years can eat sugary food. So usually by statistics on all hospitals all over the world, it is the sugar that can cause a lot of diseases and a lot of causes of this of fatty. Except for the you know for the accident driven huh? it's only this is only for the health driven okay for health driven diseases, not the accident. Okay, you the point. So it's sugar. So we need the branded sugar as the deadliest substance on earth. Sugar is the deadliest substance on earth. Okay, not the fat. Okay, second is the fat. Okay, you the point. So, anak siya. Okay, go back. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. Okay, in terms of natural and organic criteria meaning outside source fructose is better than glucose because fructose can be found in citrus fruits and fruits is healthy to our health okay and nobody also will eat fruits all the time okay because the issue is that's too expensive okay you get the point as long as what i'm trying to emphasize only the the benefit not the frequency okay you get the point and then for the process and refine refine and processed glucose is better also uh, than the fructose okay ito po yung anak siya guys okay because fructose is found in the corn syrup which is processed also okay and it is also bad because you know it's not easy to evaluate because they are as i told you they are 50 percent fructose and 50 percent glucose in your sucrose in your sugar in your table sugar right so the you know the quantitative relationship is 50 percent fructose 50 percent glucose so how can you say which among them are bad? So it depends on the criteria. You get the point. Now, if you go to the criterion of biosynthesis, we need produce inside the body, which is better. And I put this shot. Okay, which is better? Glucose or fructose now? The biosynthesis criterion. Okay, meaning it will be produced inside our body. Fructose or glucose which is better 
Ok? Ok, which is better? General na lang. Ato na may general Ok, ganda po. So, glucose is better. Because glucose will give us energy. Ok? Then fructose. Because fructose, again, the issue is will stop first in your liver after from the transporting by the bloodstream from the duodenum, your small intestine. Ok? And then, there's an issue of, you know, diseases here linked with NFLD. Ok? Uh, Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, obesity, and overweight. It is a issue. Assuming only, guys, ha, that your liver also is not in good condition. Okay? It's not in good condition. But if your liver is very healthy, there's no issue of such like this. Especially if your consumption is not very high, there's no issue of fructose. Okay? Get the point? Ano siya. Get the point? And actually, it will have the same PL. It depends on the leveling and the type of person we are referring to. The second. We cannot say generally that fructose is better than glucose, like that, but it, it depends on the, the specifics, the specificity of our, you know, uh, discussion. Okay. Now, glucose will be used, so we generally say that glucose is better than fructose. Okay. Now, this glucose will be converted into the energy to, to give us strength, okay, and then will act as a fuel for metabolism, conversion. Uh, fats into waste products that will be released in our skin pores, in our urine, or in our bowel, you know, in the rectum, like that, things like that. You get the waste products or stool, like that. You get the point, and then the excess glucose, okay, will go to your liver, okay, like that, because they cannot burn anymore because of too much oil. So, and that's the time it will spike your blood glucose or the sugar in your blood. Okay. It's not the fructose. It's the glucose. So that's why our doctor will always specify that the glucose is not the fructose. Though we will say that the fructose will stop first in the liver. But, you know, it's not the fructose that will, that will spike or elevate it or increase. It's always the glucose in your blood. Okay. okay. So, you need to say, not an issue of fructose, it's the glucose. So, possibly you will say that fructose is better because of the bloodstream. So, things like that. That's why I told you it depends on your mindset when you will say, okay, you get the point. But for me, honestly, I will never focus on fructose. I will focus on glucose because that is the, the sugar in the blood. Okay, now, the blood, just like comparing by the car, it is like a gasoline that will move your car from place to place. Without gasoline, you cannot move your car. It's the, it's the same concept with the blood in our body. Okay? We will not become healthy. We cannot do things if our blood is not properly treated well. That our vital organs need the most. Things like that. So, since we're talking of the bloodstream, then I am, I am going to the glucose, not the fructose. Anyway, I'm controlling my sugar. Things like that. You get the point, and if I eat also fruits, it will be stabilized by other vitamins also. It will it contains higher fructose. For example, uh, flavonoids, polyphenols, antioxidants, things like so. For me, fructose will not be taking effect too much. Though it's it's it has an issue, but it will be overpowered by the other benefits there in the fruits. You get the point? Got one. Okay. So muna ang glucose ang yung trabaho sa glucose. Now in the fat, that's why your liver will become fat because the fat is excess already. And then, the, the blood also has, don't have the capacity to transport that uh, all the time to your glycogen storage. Okay, the, the storage of your glucose. Because also, as I told you, the blood also has limitation. Especially the cholesterol for the transportation of different substances. That's the function of the cholesterol, right? And the phospholipids, things like that. That's why we have lipid in our body. That's the function to, to push all these nutrients and vitamins to go to the specific vital organs. So that's why, walang tapon. Actually, if you think this deeply, all are equally important. All. 
this biomolecules, the fats, the lipids, the sugar, like that. It's only the issue of how you intake too much that goes beyond the level. Things like that, okay? So that's why I told you, it's, it depends on your preference and mindset. You get the point. Ganon. So, now, for biosynthesized sugar inside our body, not outside, reactions already, so it, glucose is better than fructose because fructose will stay in the liver before going to the kidney and will be released. Something like that. Okay, kaya hindi siya bigaon. Okay, si glucose kaya bigaon na kaya siya. Zabasa na siya ang padong. Hindi na himotang ba? You get the point? So, mato siya sa mga maso, sa mga tissue, sila kasi go. Ganon! So, karburitak ni si glucose. Okay, tungkol sa kapag karburitak ni glucose, siya po na hinundan na mamatay ang mga tao. Because, makakosa na rin siya, cardiovascular diseases, obesity, Okay, gaganon, overweight, coronary. Oh, kung di pala nga ang karakteristik ni glucose, di, pras-pras at siya gamay ni fructose, mga gustila sa siya gamay, di siya magpalabis ay dibate. Okay, mo nang mukuan d'yon. <laughs> Masakit d'yon. Get the point? Labi na hinay ang atong metabolism, metabolism. Our metabolism is very slow. Then how can this glucose will work easily? And then we keep on adding glucose every day, daily ala to white rice. Okay, your issue of metabolism is very weak, it's very slow. The problem is that it's not to your liver and, and to your bile, you know, fats here, it will become big, your stomach will become big. Okay, look at that one. So, if the stomach will become big, every, every substance, every part of the body goes com in complementary. Your liver also will become fat, your heart also will become Okay, because that is complementary with each other. Because, okay, you got the point. So, when you fat and you you fat to come open. Directly proportional, things like that. So, your lungs also are obviously in tambokul sha. Because the fats also cannot hold there. Of course, if you want to push the parts, they will go another parts in our body. You got the point? Iyan. Pati na sa liver gani. Okay. Also. Okay. Because it will be circulated all, all over the parts of your body. Because, you know, it will be transported from the, you know, from the, we put peripheral, peripheral cells. Okay. And then to the nerve cells, the nerve cells, and so it will be accepted there in the central nervous system. But the guy that we are doing, okay, the blood, Stream will, will flow in a way at your peripheral, okay, peripheral cells. Can on and go into your nerve cells into your nervous system. That's the system. So there's a chance also that your liver will become fat, okay. But it's last because it's in the upper portion. It needs higher density to go up naturally, and we don't have motor pump to pump, you know, the substances <laughs> fast going to our brain. That's only by natural. So obviously, the parts that are in the lower portion will receive first, rather than the, the, the parts of the body that's in the app. Because by science, it's explained, it, it has to do something with molecular weight, density, like that. So the more it is becoming last to go, so it go first to the, yeah, the intestine. Get the point, lower intestine, you go to your bloodstream, you go to your liver, and then last. Last po ang kuwan, ang kidney, hindi ko sa siya sa ubos. Get the point? Na na, sala mo siya dito. Okay, get the point, mga palala ang gagahan. So, it depends on the situation. Okay. Now, another issue also, for this, is ba, for example, guys, what's the reason why that person become hungry? Aside from the fact that you wasted all your energy, that's why you need more uh, substances that's a uh, general way to feed our stomach, refuel our stomach. But aside from that general, you know, general understanding, there's a technical understanding why. Science, technical understanding, that is a common understanding by everybody. But if you base by science theory, there's a, a specific reason why you will become hungry. Any answer? Why a person will become hungry? 